Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Trigger warning, I'm dressed as Gamora. Trigger warning, my hands are not green. Trigger warning, my hair didn't fit under my wig, so it looks horrible. Trigger warning, I have three dogs. And trigger warning, this is YouTube. So just in case anybody didn't know that, I thought I would just deliver you a few trigger warnings just in case because I want everyone to feel safe and comfortable on the internet. Welcome to another episode of Does This Offend You? From your host, the off-brand Gamora. People are very upset that the new Thor movie did not give them a trigger warning. Yep, that's what people are mad about. Angry Marvel fans say new Thor movie should have come with a trigger warning. July 11th, 2022, what a time to be alive. If you are offended, upset, or distraught from something that was in the Thor movie from fictional characters with a fictional storyline, I think you are a pretty privileged person. I think there's a lot worse things going on in this world than a fictional movie and a fictional plot. Tell me if I'm wrong, but let's see what people are offended about. So apparently Natalie Portman's character has stage four cancer and that's what they're mad about. They are upset that Marvel did not give a trigger warning before the movie. How would that play out? Warning, before this movie starts that you paid to see, uh, there's a plot. Someone in the movie has stage four cancer. What, come on, you just spoiled some of the movie. Oh, yep, I know, spoilers, but <laughs> what can we say? We want everyone to feel comfortable. So if we have to spoil things, because this is Marvel. People might die in our films all the time, and we know this isn't the first film, but you know what? We thought this was the time that we should tell you. Enjoy the movie. And now, our feature presentation. I'd be very irritated if I paid to watch a movie and then someone spoiled it. People are always complaining about spoilers on the internet and y'all are really asking people to spoil the movie. Why the holy fuck would they actually put a trigger warning for that? So I thought maybe it was like one person that was bored one day and saw the movie and thought, you know what? This could drum up some internet attention that I thrive for. But no, it's a lot of people. No spoilers. No, you're about to spoil the movie, Xavier. But Thor, Love and Thunder should, in all caps, have had a trigger warning for graphic depiction of cancer. And the fact that we didn't know going in is atrocious. How bad is it? Pretty bad. Without going into details, it's a very major plot line with it being talked about in detail and lots of imagery that's pretty nasty to watch. Not exactly treated with sensitivity the topic needs. It practically ruined any ability for me to emotionally care about the movie since I felt like I had to shut off any feelings off to protect myself from connecting with the content and needing to leave partway through. Oh shit, really? Yep, never have I seen so many people leave during the movie on opening night. So to me, I would think that this was very intense, but apparently it was not that bad. Also, I'm highly doubting tons of people walked out, especially when I saw people break down the apparent horrific scene that was extremely short and not as horrific as many individuals were making it out to be. A character gets thin because she has cancer. She flicks an IV bag. A doctor mentions that she is in stage four. She's not coughing up blood or anything violent. Also, for majority of the film, she's fine. Oh, that doesn't sound as bad. I really can't wait to see it tomorrow. Well, it was very easy to change his mind. Thor really needs a trigger warning for as cancer patients, even though I knew the story, I wonder if others do. People, this movie should let people know that cancer is a big part of it. Other people, oh, you snowflake, stay in your safe space and cry about it, stop being so sensitive. Wow, asking for kindness really triggers people. People don't just ask for, like I, this certain group that wants everything to, like, everybody to walk on eggshells and make sure that they cater to every single person, which I don't know if you know by now, that is not possible. You just can't cater to everybody and you can't make every single person happy. Someone's gonna be over in the corner like this. Just mad. No matter how many trigger warnings you put in there. But this group always does this whole, wow, I'm just asking for kindness. No, you're asking the producers and the people that worked on the movie to spoil a part in the movie. And honestly, I guess it's not even spoiled. According to many who read the comic book, she has cancer. If you are familiar with comics, she has cancer. They didn't just make it up. So maybe do the research yourself if you are worried about being triggered. Or here's an idea, pay someone to go watch the movie for you and then they can break Break down every little topic, event, and conversation for you. Then you can decide if it's triggering for you after they spoil the whole movie for you. And I take it many of the people that go and see it are familiar with comic books. And even if you're not familiar with comic books, this obviously isn't the first Marvel movie that you've seen. And I think you would know by now, people die. They, they talk about some sensitive topic. People got some issues. So. No, you're not just asking for kindness. You're asking people to do the work that you need to do to protect your feelings. Thor, Love and Thunder needs a trigger warning for she censored cancer? You 
Am I gonna get demonetized for saying cancer? Can we not say cancer now? Is that a thing? Because by the end, I was sobbing because I missed my daddy. Oh my gosh, this movie was so good and funny and heartwarming. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Some people want trigger warnings. I do not agree. And many of you might be saying, well, Michelle, you're not in the cancer community. You don't know anything about cancer. None of your family members have had cancer, so you can't speak about it. Okay, well, actually, you don't know anything about me, except for the stuff I put on YouTube. And second, there's many people from the cancer community saying, what the f***? Really? Warning people about Jane's cancer because it could be distressing? Both my parents died of cancer and my brother died of complications following treatment for cancer, but nothing in Portman's performance triggered me. She's not shown emaciated and wasted or even recognized Thor because of the massive doses of morphine she was on. She's not shown bald following chemo. In fact, for someone with stage four cancer, she looks pretty bloody healthy in this. You see her lying in bed with a drip in her arm and at the end she's a bit pale and weak. My parents looked like wasted corpses just before they died. I still shudder when I think of my mother's appearance the last time I saw her alive. I wish she could have looked as healthy as Jane Foster did when she went. And there are a lot more like that. So I understand there's different people that are more sensitive to different things, but you can't say, think of the cancer people that had to deal with. Many people who have cancer are speaking out and saying, y'all, it's a movie. There are plenty of movies that have cancer Sir, in them with no trigger warning. Also, where the hell were y'all during Guardians of the Galaxy? Peter's mom had cancer. She needs your help, or the people watching it need your help. And you can help them by screaming trigger warning. Trigger warnings are very nice if you want to put them in there, but it seems like it's getting very, very just out of hand all the time. There's a trigger warning for everything. I remember Lizzo making a post about trigger warning. I'm going to be talking about diet food. Trigger warning, I'm going to be talking about this. Trigger warning, I'm going to be talking about body, you know, image. That's all you talk about is body image and food. You don't need a trigger warning at this point. Actually, I remember when, what is that guy's name? Athlean X. Oh my God, and one of his like, I think it's like what I eat in a day or something. And he was like, trigger warning. And giving you fair warning now that there might be some triggers in this video. Just so you guys know, it's not gluten free. There's also gonna be the inclusion of carbohydrates. A trigger warning, I am going to be counting calories. Trigger warning, I'm going to, uh, it's not vegan, so vegans, I don't want you to get triggered that I'm eating meat. There's also the use of animal proteins here. In Y'all are nice. Am I just a mean bitch? Cause I'm not gonna trigger warning you about every single thing I'm gonna be talking about in the video. I can't imagine doing that. And even if you did, someone's gonna find something in the video that they're like, oh my gosh, you should have put a trigger warning for this because it triggered me. Triggers are so personal. We've talked about my whole misophonia thing and I don't like loud eating, burping, anything like that. I think it's just disgusting and revolting and I wanna run you over with my spaceship. But I don't expect people to give me a trigger warning if I'm looking at a food type video. I usually have my remote in hand and if I see any type of mouth movement and food in your mouth, I usually just click it off. Honestly, I'd be pretty bothered if someone was like, trigger warning, I eat loud. <laughs> Honestly, because I'm a grown up and I can just figure it out for myself. Same with death. I am very sensitive right now when it comes to death because I've lost a few friends in a very short amount of time. So I'm quite sensitive. I can be triggered easily. I can watch a show and some character I don't even like dies and I'll just start crying. So personally right now, I just can't watch very intense shows, but I was watching some show that I thought was safe, a little safe space, if you will, a cartoon. I talked about it in my dealing with death when you're still living video on my second channel. It was Bojack Horseman. I thought it was just like an adult cartoon, goofy, funny, wrong people dying. And it had topics of this word in there that we can't say. You know, like how we can't say cancer now or something? I'm guessing, can, I'm still confused about the cancer thing. Are we not supposed to say cancer? If I get demonetized for saying cancer, rude. Second, I'd be very irritated if I had cancer and I can't say the word cancer. What the f I don't know, but anyway, it dealt with that word and I had to stop watching it because I was triggered. But I didn't go on Twitter and start typing up, dear writers of BoJack Horseman and Netflix, you should have warned me about the sewer topic in this episode. I enjoyed the show up until then, but it triggered me personally. They probably did have some kind of trigger warning about something, but I usually don't read them. Actually, it's rated TV mature. So they will be talking about mature topics, just like the Marvel movie is rated PG-13 for intense sequences of sci-fi, violence and action, language, some suggestive material and partial nudity. Boom, there it is. You already had what you wanted. Get off Twitter and enjoy some fresh air. Y'all need it. But could you imagine? If I did that, I would look like a complete idiot, right? Turn it off. Or like those other people walk out of the movie if you can't handle it. I still don't believe you though. The amount of people that expect the world to coddle them uh, is 
insane. I'm just trying to figure out how many people go through life without just being a mess on the daily if you can't handle certain things in the real world. I get it, the world is a horrible place, but it ain't nothing from where I come from. Are you serious? My dad tried to kill me. Anyway, apparently many people are very upset about this. They think there should be a trigger warning for this, specifically because it's a sensitive topic. I'm trying to figure out if they want every other movie that comes out to say, hey, trigger warning, there's talk about cancer. Hey, trigger warning, there's talk about diabetes. Someone's got diabetes in this one. Trigger warning, just so you know, there's gonna be a character that full on dies by getting ran over by a truck. It's a main plot point, but we don't want you guys to feel bad about this movie that you paid for, so. See ya. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. In my last video, I had at the end me just making my thumbnails and looking at myself in the camera. That was not on purpose. Uh, so I figured, why not just do it again? You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. 